Carl, you've studied the Bible over the last couple of days. Wow. Well, and you're going to give us a, a basically the Bible abridged. Is that right? Just uh, condensed. Um, um, just just that you know it's that time of the year when religion. Well, let's do a let's, let's do a sermon. Everyone everyone settle uh, settle down at home. Turn the radio up. This is um, Reverend Carl Pilkington with uh, the history of the Bible. All right. Thank you very much. Right. Well, uh, thanks for coming. Um, starting off, you know, I mean, I started off at the at the beginning of the of the book. My view, the Bible. We'll call it for the sake of argument. Right. <laughs> um, there's quite a bit missing. It doesn't. It doesn't say about how sort of God was already about. So it doesn't go right back to the beginning. Um, <laughs> right, okay. God, God's already knocking about on that. Yeah. Anyway, he made the world, right? He did, did all that, right? Yeah. He sorted out, um, sort of sun for, for the, in the day and that, so everything's light and you can see yourself about. <laughs> right. He did the stars and the moon for at night, right? I was thinking about that. Uh, if I was him, I probably would have just let it be day all the time rather than having two systems. We're not criticising. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not okay. having a go, I'm just saying, I mean, it's easy now, isn't it, in hindsight, to sort of say, do you know what? <laughs> it's easy yeah. to really criticise him, but he was working... He's sort, of, you know. he sort of loosened the top, you just got it off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah sure, yeah, 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 he did a lot of the work, yeah, cheers. No, I'm just saying, though, yeah. like, they mess about with the clocks and that because the farmers getting up in the dark and that. If it was day all the time, less crime and that. I'm just saying it, it might have been worth an idea. You missed the trick there, there is what you're saying. But he yeah. moves in mysterious ways, so you don't know why he's done that. He might be he oh, might right. be thinking something that y your small brain can't really. Fair enough. Okay. I'm not having a go. Like I say, I'm just just reading it and thinking about it. That's what it's all about, isn't yeah, it? Education, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. thinking. Yeah, yeah right? go on. Anyway, so uh, he did all that. He made the sun and that, and then he said, "Oh, make some creatures and stuff." He made a load of birds, loads of different birds, creatures, animals, and that. Because the, with the world being so big, it's like if you buy a big house, you need more furniture, don't you? Right. So he made this, and he was like, "Oh, God, what am I going to fill it with?" So this is why he, he did all these. Right. Animals. That's not actually in the Bible. You, no, you speculated is, there on yeah. the mind of God. Well, I'm sort of just treating it like it, it's his big house, right? Isn't it? Okay. So, and he's filling it. He's making it look nice, different birds and what have you. Yeah. Right. Just, just my opinion. Like it's making it sound like the Playboy Mansion. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So anyway, right? So uh, he does all that, and. Uh, he thinks, right, I'll make a little man and a woman. Sure. Who we all know as, like, Adam and Eve. Yep. Um, everyone knows their names, but at, at no point is, is their surname mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not going to have trouble with the post, right. is he? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, right, Adam and Eve are knocking about. Uh, the God says to him, look, just enjoy yourselves and that, right? Um, do what you want, but I'll tell you this. I'm only telling you once, he said. He said, don't be eating fruit from that special tree. Yeah. So, they were like, alright, fair enough. He said, the tree that I'm talking about is the tree of knowledge. Yeah. So that's sort of made it a little bit worse, because it sounds good and that, and you're like, oh, knowledge. Yeah. Well, don't go in that door. Yeah, It's, it's exactly, that sort yeah. of thing. Instead of just sort of not telling them. Because mm. I don't know, see, the, the tree of knowledge, what it had on it by what I can work out is, it's an apple tree, right? And it's pretty tempting, isn't it, to, to our little cheeky apple? Because I, I don't know what they were eating back then. Right. Do, do you know what they, were, what, what they were getting by on? No, I don't know. Right, so anyway, so they were like, yeah, all right, whatever. Eve goes for a wander about. Yeah. Right? Killing time and that. <laughs> Bumps into this snake. Oh, yeah. And the uh, snake said, uh, you know, said, all right, you got an apple, right? And uh, he was selling it to her. He was going, it tastes good and that, right? And she's like, well, shouldn't really, but, you know, I've been told that I shouldn't eat that. Because I think God said to her at some point, um... Oh, if... get on with it. You're on page one at this the moment. This is absurd. This oh, is just get... unbelievable. I know, but I'm just... Just, painting... just get to the point. You're on page one. You yeah, haven't but... moved on. Just get... OK, we know Adam and Eve. What have you learned? Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying. He was saying don't eat it because it's Yeah, dangerous. I know. We know. Get on with it. Just get on... I mean, oh... But the thing is, people do eat things that are dangerous, don't they? And puffer fish, even to this day, people are eating stuff that can kill them. Yeah. So it's not a threat. They're not. They're not that bothered. It's an apple, right? They're, they're going to have a little cheeky apple. Anyway, they eat it, right? God goes mental at them. He said, "I told you not to do that. I've told you you can enjoy yourself and everything. You've, you've gone against what I said. <sighs> you've eaten the apple." Adam and Eve sort of got told off and what have you. They went off and had kids. Um, that added extra pressure. A lot of arguments <laughs> happened, and uh, that's that's kind of part one. <laughs> that is amazing. That is amazing. So, 
Oh, you're an idiot. Really, you are an idiot. Well, part two later then. You better buck up your ideas in part two. Kate Bush, King of the Mountain. Must be a song about the Tour de France or something. Yep. Wear a helmet. <laughs> wear a helmet. Good advice. Now, um, as you mentioned earlier, Rick, last week we had a spokesperson from the Church of England mm. who was uh, offering um, a spot at some kind of Manchester church for Carl to do a sermon, educate the kids on the Bible and all things religious. Um, we've we've preempted that. We've actually we have first instalment in the first hour, and it was very slow. You've I mean, got a bit quicker. You've if, got you're, to you've got a, if this is a Brit, I mean, that was nearly longer than the real thing. Yeah, that, I mean, you you're turning made, people off. Yeah, religion. I mean, God only took six days. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and you, you were you were pushing that. Well, this is what, and Vic he made it. You were just talking about it. <laughs> well, this is what vicars do, isn't it? They drag it out. This this is their living. If they, they don't rushed, drag they it out. They what do you mean? mean? When you go to church, what do you mean if they do? When they rushed it, what? Well, they wouldn't have a job, would they? <laughs> So you've got to, you've got to make sure you you know you do everything that needs to be done. You reckon they're that. milking it, do you? Well, just a little bit. I mean, you said that, not my words, but yeah, that's that's why I can't you know rush it. You've got to tell the story, haven't you? All right, well, you need to get the Old Testament out of the way because we're not even on to the New Testament yet. No. We've only got an hour and well, ten. Well, I just do right. Jesus hasn't even made an appearance, and he's like the star, isn't he? Yeah, he's, right. I mean, we're all waiting for him to make it. Yeah, he's, he's like Brad Pitt coming in. And I'll tell you, this at the moment it's a bit like the film King Kong I went to see. Three hours long. It's, fi it's fifty minutes before Kong makes an appearance. Well, so, exactly. Get, let's yeah. get let's get to the main event. Let's Come on, let's on there. I can't now. Anyway, just where we left off, just in case you just, just say in. this is don't recap. I'm just saying that Jesus is the main event because it's the Church of England. There are other religions where he's probably not as high up. He's not as featured as, as uh, it's not, No, he'd, he'd, he'd be third on the fourth on the billing. No, right, all, go on. all I'm saying is we left it where Adam and Eve had kids, they were arguing a lot, the kids didn't listen to them. Well, they weren't dad. arguing a lot. They did, they had a bit of an argument. The kids did, yeah, but Adam and Eve didn't argue, did they? They were, they were loving it, they were having a great time. Well, no, not once, once they had the after. I'm an atheist and I'm trying to help him out. Can we get on with it because we're just recapping what we already got bored of Yes, here. come on! Get on with it! I'm just saying. Oh. So the kids didn't listen to the mum and dad because they, they had a criminal record and that for nicking the apple. The kids were running riot, they're not bothered. <laughs> so, let's pick up. I'd like to apologise there. I'm just going to say, it really isn't worth complaining. He doesn't know what he'd, he'd get off. In a court of law, he'd get off. He's got, I don't know, uh, it, it, he wouldn't be culpable right. for his own actions. Come on, I, I, even I'm getting bored of this now. Okay. Right, so. God, he got to a point where he's going, it's all going wrong, right? People are doing what they want, Adam and Eve aren't listening, all the rest of it. No, 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 he gave them free will. I've got so to do the story something. goes, oh, this is making me So, Ill. anyway, right, so he said, how can I, how can I get rid of all the badness and that? So, he made it rain, right? It rained for ages, people got sick of the rain and that, right? <laughs> Cleaned it all out, right? Uh, before he did that, though, I forgot something that's quite important. He met up with this bloke, Noah. <laughs> <laughs> They met up over a coffee. Yeah, right. yeah. And he said to Noah, look... <laughs> Get uh, an umbrella. I like you and that. Here's a little job for you. All I'll uh, say is buy shares in galoshes. <laughs> yeah. We're no, I don't want to give anything away, but you'd get a boat. <laughs> yeah. And he get said, a big boat. He said, what I want you to do, right, make this boat up. He said, and when you've done that, go about, right, and get two <laughs> of everything. <laughs> right? So... Man and like, female. That's a big job, isn't it? Right? Man and female. Yeah. Yeah. Would you know, because I was, do you know, I always say I always put myself in the situation of the person's job and that. Yeah. I was thinking, I can do, I can sort of sort out a man elephant, man woman and that. I wouldn't know how to do it with a spider. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know why he brought on spiders. I do not know why now I brought on spiders. Because he missed an opportunity there. Get rid of all things like that. Yeah. Get rid of the spider. And, you know, I've, I'm get get four, you know, flamingos or something. <laughs> yeah. or get, get, get eight chimps. Let's, let's use the space wisely. But, but the weird thing is, right, with the spiders as well, because he did get the spiders on, didn't he? It rained, right? It rained for ages, like, uh, what was it, weeks, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just raining that. So, uh, <laughs> and then he let out a, uh, a bird, I think it was a raven. No, right. it wasn't. Right, come on, let him finish. No, it wasn't a, a raven. This, is a, this okay. is a fact. He let a raven out, right, and he didn't come back. So already his system had broken, because he, oh, only, I had, think, oh, he okay. only had one raven left then, right? <laughs> so he was like, oh. So <laughs> he said, right, he left it a couple of days, he sent a dove out. Oh, that's it, that's what I know. You've been more than me, I say. Yeah, so oh, he did, is that what he did? He let yeah. a raven out first, first did he? Yeah. Yeah. And then never the trust a raven. Always give it to the dove. Dove can don't, don't send a raven to do a dove's oh, job. I reckon the raven will find another ark, an unofficial <laughs> ark that was just like a party oh, ark. No, no, come, come on, on. The, no, uh, come on. Right. So the dove came back. Yeah. So he said, right, there must be dry land somewhere. Okay. Right. So anyway, he was like, let's just hang about. Why do you think that? 
because uh, it found a twig or something. Exactly. Say what? You'd, why could that be the top of a tree, though? Why could it? How did he know that? Rick, know. if you are going to add to this, uh, we are never going to get it done. Okay, I'm oh, sorry. Right. So there was mud everywhere because the water went down. Mud everywhere. Where did the water go? Shut up! Where did it go? Shut up! We haven't got time to go into that. It doesn't that. make sense. If the whole world was flooded, where did the water go? We have go? not got time for this. Where did the water go? This is mental. Did they refreeze the ice caps? What? Tell me, is it, uh, it got to be specific. Didn't it say it was a kid's bible, wasn't it? It wasn't going in depth. It just said the water went away, right? Where? It floated off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't be bothered. <laughs> the one that I picked up on, right, that I could relate to. Okay. Do you know, um, Samson Delilah? Yeah, of course. Do you know what happened in that? Yes. Right, well, just in case you haven't heard the story of Samson Delilah, what it is, um, so some, I think God had a word with, uh, <laughs> some bloke, I can't remember his name, I think it's Manoa or something his name was. Right. He said, listen, I'm still having problems, uh, Adam and Eve let me down. Um... He didn't say that, by the way, anyone listening, at no point has God ever said, Adam and Eve let me down. No, anyway. but, and then he had a word with Noah, he, he did the, the boat thing, so he said, I can't ask for two favours, right? Sure. So he, he asked this other bloke, <laughs> Manoa. He was he happy said, with Noah, though, was he? Yeah, 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 he, he let him go on, though, it's like jury service, once you've done it, you're left alone for a bit, aren't you? <laughs> so anyway, did he, right, let, so... he didn't bother getting the fish on the boat, did he? I, I, I don't know. They were happy, weren't they? Surely. But anyway, yeah, although was... was it salt water everywhere? Why didn't the Why didn't the freshwater fish die out? Rick, I'm just going to stop you there because we've still got to get monkey news in before one uh, one o'clock. So, so he had a okay. word with this this fella, and he said uh, he said, "Look, what I'm going to do? You're going to have a kid soon. It's going to be a little boy, right? And when he grows up, he's going to sort out my problems. So it was like a, a long term plan that he had sorted, <laughs> right? So anyway, they have the kid, right? They're happy." We've got a little baby boy. They go, right, what we'll do to show our respect to God, we'll never cut his hair, right? Because <laughs> he'll like that, right? We're still so, in the Old Testament, aren't we? I don't think Jesus is going to make appearance. Oh, so, so they called him Samson, yep. right? And uh, he grew up, right? Never cut his hair. Yep. Um, his hair made him strong, right? He was going about, he was helping people out, he was stopping wars and that because he was so strong. His hair made him strong and that, apparently. Yeah. Anyway, nobody knew that. Nobody knew that it was his hair that did the job. So, uh, this is right so far, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know the ins and outs. So anyway, what happened is, women are loving him all of a sudden. He's got nice long hair and that, he looks the part, <laughs> he's stopping problems. Women are going, he's a good fellow, isn't he, this Samson bloke? Like Stringfellow. Anyway. <laughs> yes, that, that's, exactly. it, that's his, the power of pulling, is yeah. in Stringfellow's hair. Yeah. That's why he never cuts it. Exactly. Whatever, whatever the decade, <laughs> yeah. Peter Stringfellow <laughs> never cuts his hair, because that's where the power <laughs> lies. <laughs> anyway, he didn't realise he had this power, and so one day, he got up, right, did his hair and that, went out, uh, a lion jumped out. Oh. He, 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 he killed it with yep. his hands, with his bare hands. Why? Right? So again, Noah was a bit annoyed because that's one of the ones that he, that he <laughs> saved. saved. <laughs> but anyway, right? So he goes, I can't believe this power I've got. Right? <clears throat> I'm gonna like sort out the world. Didn't problems. the lion have long hair though as well? Oh. Well, no, we'll just. Just what? No, but uh, you're always picking on the. the uh, to be honest, though, that's that's as far as I got. Anyway. <laughs> so that's it. That's it. So if you if you were t if you were interested by those, you can buy the Bible in all good bookshops and read the rest. Is that what you're saying? Or any yeah. religious book? Yes. We don't remember we the don't Torah, the Quran. Stop you doing it. Well, I'd just like to say now, it is a godless universe. As an atheist, there is no God, and uh, uh, and I'm a, a good person, not because I'm going to get rewarded for it in heaven, because that's the way I want to live my life in a society that treats people like that. So um, a lot of the laws of the land, um, not just in the country, in many countries, are from the Bible. I mean, that that's that kicked it off. I mean, there was laws before, obviously, and there were there were different gods before before this one. Um, was invented, um, but let's have a look at the Ten Commandments. Oh, yeah. I think that lays down most of the. Uh, a lot of them are good rules of thumb. You know, we've got to go along with them. They didn't. They certainly didn't invent those rules of thumb. I think that um, mankind were adhering to most of them before it was handed down. So uh, let's have a look at them. There's a website here, a Baptist um, Christian website forum, uh, and this guy. I sh maybe I shouldn't say his name. I mean, he's put it up there for public, but I, I don't want to embarrass him. He says, uh, brethren and sistren. <laughs> what? Yeah, so I don't know. I, uh, Never heard I've, that I've learned a word. Yeah. Um, brothers and sisters. Mm. Could have uh, said, said that, but he's not. He's yeah, just a classic. He could have said people. Could have said people, could have said folks. Say folks. Um, it has come to my attention that not only are many of our members unable to correctly recite all the Ten Commandments, it's probably a big problem. I don't know, he goes around testing and going, number three, <laughs> um, get out. <laughs> Go and learn it. But those who can remember, even a few, invariably get the sequence wrong. Is that important? Oh, well, it is. He says, 
Let me set the record straight. The commandments do not come in a random sequence, with the exception of Seventh Commandment, an obvious anomaly. Why? Well, he reckons that thou shalt not commit adultery at number seven should really be sixth in terms of severity. Let me explain. The commandments appear in order of severity. Right. The harsher the punishment, the closer to the top. I hope this handy colour chart will make the intrinsic beauty of God's word more comprehensible to all. So this is it. He's laid it out. Commandment. Number one, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Okay? Alert level, severe. <laughs> Punishment, genocide. Whoa. Entire cities with men, women, children and animals must be killed. So that's a lovely, nice Christian view there. So um, if you... Worship another god yeah. before the right god. He doesn't. He doesn't name him by name. He just uses the uh, <laughs> the term god. Sure. But there's only one according to um, this genocide. This, yeah. Anyone who worships another god, genocide. Entire cities with men, women, children, and animals must be killed. I don't know what the animals have ever done, but oh, well, uh, they're yeah. Okay. Them, so isn't? that's number one. That's the that's the most severe worshiping the wrong god. Sure. Okay. Number two, thou shalt not make unto thee any craven image. Okay, okay, no craven images. That's, uh, I assume, so druids, devil worshippers, anything like that, isn't it? Uh, well, I think it's also just, uh, I suppose it's kind of images that mock or degrade the Almighty. Okay. Uh, severe. What's the punishment there? Genocide. Genocide again. Um, he's, wow. uh, that's a, that's a, his favourite there. Genocide. Entire cities with men, women, children, and animals must be killed. What worries me is we're a couple of smart guys, and we're not entirely sure what that commandment means. No. So we could go, but we could accidentally. Yeah. Three. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord, thy God, in vain. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I assume God made these, did he? He's, he's used the first three talking about himself here. <laughs> alert level high. Capital punishment. Just, so capital punishment. Just, so you're just, just, no, God. no, no. You're just going to be, God. yeah, you're just going to be put to death there. Not, not all your friends and family and okay, dogs. Good. Sure. Um, <laughs> leave the budgie. No. <laughs> Number four. Remember the Sabbath day. Keep it holy. Uh, high. So uh, alert level high. High, yeah. Capital punishment. Death. Capital punishment again. Yeah, if you forget for the, the holy for, day. Well, what, what makes me laugh is that sometimes you could be walking along and you go, all right, yeah, okay, all right, I'm just going to, to I'll keep thinking it's Monday. You what? <laughs> you forgot it's Sunday. No, I just forgot. <laughs> ah, death. <laughs> Number five. Honour thy father and thy mother. High. Okay, so, and if you don't honour your mother... Capital punishment. Capital punishment. A lot of death. Again. A lot of death. Again, at the moment. So, so, yeah. so strict. Yeah. We haven't even got to thou shalt not kill yet, and yet he's killed everyone so far. Wow, jeez. Um, now, seven, he's put a number six here. He's put them out of order, six and seven, because he thinks this is higher. Thou shalt not commit adultery. High. Capital punishment. Capital punishment again. Now, the fellow who did this website, he, uh, he's put thou shalt not commit adultery above thou shalt not kill. God had it the other way around. God, right. thou shalt not kill, but this but fella, this fella yeah. I reckon his wife played away. Right, right. So he yeah. went, right, I'm putting them in a different order. Because before, let's see, number six, he's put um, thou shalt not kill, alert level, elevated, capital punishment in some cases. So if you murder someone, you can sometimes be killed. If you commit adultery, always, always get killed. So uh, I think he's made th that he can have his wife put to death, right? Or he could kill her, but maybe get off with it. Right. That's why right. he's done that. Um, number eight, thou shalt not steal, guarded, excessive fines. <laughs> Only in rare cases, cut with the punishment. Oh, just excessive fines? Yeah, excessive. Um, number nine, thou shalt not bear fault wit witness to thy neighbour. Uh, so basically lying low. Despisement and scorn. Is that the punishment? Yeah, for lying. Yeah, despisement, despisement and scorn. and scorn. Yeah. Thou shalt not covet, really. Don't, don't, covet don't try and get stuff. Don't be jealous of stuff and try and Despisement. get it. Uh, Despisement and scorn. Despisement and scorn, sure. I'm just going to go through, I'm just going to go down these, see which ones I um, I commit. Uh, thou shalt have no other god. I don't have any god, so I haven't broken that one. Two, craven images. No, I don't have any craven no, I, don't, I don't accept there's a god to. Uh, three, thou shalt not take the name of the Lord. I, again, I don't take his name in vain because I don't believe he exists, so I'm fine there. Uh, remember the Sabbath. I always remember Sunday. Um, <laughs> I know, I, I've got a calendar and everything, so I haven't directed that one. Uh, Honour thy father, yeah, I do that. Uh, never commit adultery, don't do that. Um, ever killed don't, anyone? No, never killed anyone. Don't steal. I don't lie. And I don't covet. So 
I am an amazing Christian. Pretty clear, yeah, you're a pretty clean living guy. Wow. There you go. Well, uh, whereas, I don't know, Carl, have you ever, what's your view? You... I still, um, still open like post, that isn't to me. I'm um, just going to see that's on there. That's opening other people's post, alert level, low, punishment, embarrassment. You have to walk along with your trousers around your ankle saying I'm a div. <laughs> right. Come up to Christmas. Some people forget the true meaning of Christmas. I just think it's drinking and giving presents. But obviously it comes from the story of the, the nativity. Very briefly, what is the story of Christmas? As you as you remember, this baby Jesus was born. So, mm, okay, let's let's can we expand on that a little? Um, let's start the night before. What happened on Christmas Eve? She was um, Mary was pregnant. Right. She's wandering about. Um, you know, probably knowing it was due. Was she knocking about with the three fellas at that point? No. <laughs> no. Three fellas being... The wise men. No. She wasn't with them. No. Who was she with? I honestly don't know. What was her husband called? Her husband was... I don't know. I wasn't that interested in, in Ari. Jesus right. was born. Right, OK, um, and Mary and Joseph, yeah? Yeah, yeah. They travelled, didn't they? On a donkey? Yeah. What happened? She's pregnant. Yeah, we've done that. And then she's like, I'm going to have this kid in a bit, sort somewhere out. Right. He says, she we're going to struggle. She came from Salford. It's Christmas Eve. Right. Um, no. And they stayed at her. No, stayed no, at no, her. no, no. It wasn't Christmas Eve, was it? All right, then it's just a normal day, yeah. and they stayed. I mean, couldn't find it. They couldn't find anywhere. Right. So they stayed in a stable. Right. She had the kid on December twenty fifth. Um, that's it. Then what happened? That's it. Really? No. It, it, the three fellas she was knocking about with at the beginning. The you wise thought. men. Right. And uh, there was a star involved. They followed a star. Um. You see, you're making me look like a div here, but it wasn't an important lesson at school. I wasn't, I'm not a Catholic or anything. I'm nothing. I'm sort of, my mum even said, she said, don't tell anyone that you're not anything. She said, because it's something about witches. When I was a kid, <laughs> when you're a kid, you're at risk of being taken away People by. People think he's a character. People think this is scripted. No, Imagine if I bothered writing this. But it's not important. You, you, it's, it's so not important, this story. What did your mum say about witches? No, she just said, don't go around telling people you're not christened or anything. Right. Um, I did a bit of... I did a Sunday school thing um, called Crusaders. Right. Joined that. But I just went on, like, the Friday when they had Sabutio, table football. And then they came knocking on the Sunday saying, come on, you've got to come with us. Right. And I went, and it was rubbish. There was no Sabutio. There's an old fella reading out a smelly Bible, really old books. And I hated it. I said, I'm not going on a Sunday again. So I used to just go on the Friday, and um, yeah, mm. that 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 is religion for me. There you go. I didn't need it. I don't need an old story. Final thoughts. What does Christmas mean to you then, Carl? If you don't like old stories, what does Christmas mean to you? Just look look down and tell people what they should be thinking of this Christmas. What does it mean to you? Um, it's hassle, isn't it, Christmas. Um, Gotta buy presents. Uh, the meal's all right. The food's all right. It's the best, isn't it? If the roast dinner is the, uh, you know, the king of meals, surely the Christmas roast is the king of roasts. Yeah. Um, Christmas. I could do without it. If someone said we're getting rid of it, I'd go all right. I don't like all the build-up. I don't like that bit in between Christmas and New Year when nothing's happening. That's a dead week. Nothing goes on. People are still off for Christmas. Christmas has happened. Get back to work. You can get nothing done. Everything comes to a standstill. Why do you like Christmas? Uh, I like being allowed to drink gin and tonic at 10am while watching Noah Ledman's Give Little Sick Kids presents. Well, that's what I mean. That's what it's about. 
It's not about you're saying to me, telling me the story of baby Jesus. You haven't got a clue yourself. It's not about that. It's about, like you say, eating chocolates. Same as Easter is for fat people with chocolate. <laughs> I love Easter. No, you don't. You like eggs. You like chocolate, you fat little... Do you know what I mean? So we don't need it. Maybe back then when you were, you know, wise men knocking about a desert, they needed something to look forward to. They probably didn't live that long. I don't think they were looking forward to Easter, though, were they? No, but listen. By... But, but Jesus you, certainly wasn't you looking forward to Easter. Back then, when you watch Scrooge, yeah. everyone's looking forward to it. Tiny Tim, go and get a chicken. <laughs> now, these days, have a chicken when you want. Anyone can afford it. So it, doesn't, it hasn't got the same values. <laughs> Tiny Tim, go and get a chicken. Oh. Uh, happy <laughs> Christmas. Brilliant. Right. <laughs> Can I just ask Colin how he got on over Christmas? Because oh. the last time I spoke to him, you hadn't bought a present for your girlfriend. Yeah. Like, I have to say I was on tenterhooks all Christmas. Well, you changed it. Uh, after that show, I felt bad, even though I shouldn't have done. Because... <laughs> because I, you hadn't bought your girlfriend a Christmas present. Yeah, but present. I said to you, I booked a table at a hotel in Covent Garden, had Christmas dinner there, which was nice, right? Mm. It's good food and everything. Um, mm. Didn't feel like enough to me. Well, then I went out and treated some stuff, and then no, no, no. The a couple of days before Christmas, he went. Uh, I took to Suzanne to that hotel we're going to go to for Christmas dinner. We had tea and cakes, and I went. Oh, you treated her. He went. No, she paid for it. But I was just showing her what it was going to be like. <laughs> that was her extra treat. She paid for it. I love that. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, it was a dear. It was like 150 quid for a meal for two, which is pretty dear. So I'm not going to buy her cakes as well. <laughs> All right, love, have everything you want. You pay for your own pudding, not mental. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so you, yeah. But so you, you did, you treated her to some other yeah, stuff? Yeah, some didn't? bits and bobs. What, and so you, she bought, she chose them and you paid for them? What, the presents? Yeah. No, or no, you no. chose them and she paid for them, but, you know, it's, it's the <laughs> no, thought that counts. I, I, I got them on the way home that Saturday. Well done. And what did you buy? Well, just some bits. Might be personal, Steve. Well, I don't care. Just some bits. Yeah, just but bits and bits. Leave out the personal bits. What, what bits? Uh, just little things. And then yesterday, right? A monkey wrench and a new washer for the shower. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Some recordable CDs <laughs> that you need for your job. <laughs> oh, so, dear. Uh, now, now, when you gave those prisons to her, did her face light up? Right. I don't want to tell you what they were, right? But she wasn't that impressed. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to tell us what they are now, tell us what they are. You even know what they are, she told you. On Christmas Day. Oh, hold on, wait a minute. But All it right. doesn't matter what they are. It does matter what they are. It doesn't. It doesn't. It matter. does, Carl. It's you, mate. Of no, course it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh God! We just remember. Yeah. Right, but don't. There's I've no got, need. I've got to tell him, Carl. I've, I, I really, I really want your permission because I don't want to be a. You know, I know it's not. But we know it's not that embarrassing. It's really quite sweet. Yeah, but in a way, right? <laughs> the way I look at it is, right? Christmas. Even when I was a little kid, right? It's not. Please let me tell him, Carl. Well, let me just tell you first. Oh. Now. Let me tell you why I didn't go all out on the okay. whole present front. <laughs> all right. Justify yourself. Right. Oh, first God. of all, I've covered it up since then anyway, right? With that present because I bought her some shoes yesterday. And she did say, I'll give you the money for them. But when I get home, I said, it's all right. <laughs> I said, you can have them. <laughs> right. So, so not, only, not only did I buy her some food on Christmas Day. I got my shoes. She's probably had a tail. Like yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. sort of like, yeah, there you go, there's your shoes, there's your food. Right. Bed yeah. down. Yeah. See you later. Yeah, but I, what I'm saying is she's I done. fed and clothed. Yeah, her. Did, you, did you comb her hair? She's done well this year, right? Uh, oh. So the thing she's is done well this year. <laughs> it's like you're a single parent and you're on a council estate with a smack problem. <laughs> and you still managed to buy her some right. Lego. When Can I, I was a kid, right, oh, it God. wasn't about what you got. I remember one year when I was about eight, right? <laughs> oh, it's going to make me cry, isn't it, this? It's no, good. it's not. I'm just Go saying on. the way it is, right? I woke up at about four in the morning, and I was like, oh, what have I got? And I couldn't sleep. I was that on edge. Mm. It's the excitement of Christmas, isn't it? It's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, what's wrapped up? I need to know. Sure. Yeah. And it's the fact that people are saying, no, you won't know until tomorrow. Yes. Sure. That annoys you and winds you up. Okay. So I got up at four in the morning, yeah. opened my presents, and then went, right, I know now, I went back to bed, had a great sleep. Yes. Right? So it's nothing to do with the excitement of what you get, it's the excitement of not knowing what you've got. And then what happened when you got up to go down with the so what you're, But hang on, so oh. what you're saying to me is that you could wrap up a brick because the thrill of Christmas is in hoping and it's being excited about what it is, not the actual gift itself. Yeah. Is that, is that what you did? That's Rick, <laughs> did, you, did you get a brick? No, let me tell you now what he got. He got her a present, right, and she said, she came, I said, uh, yeah, he got me. It was 
It was an industrial sized packet of condoms. It was a joke gift. No, it, no, wasn't, it wasn't a, a joke, joke gift. It wasn't even a joke. I no. went home that Saturday after the year, past boots, <laughs> thought, might have something in here. They were on like some value. Right, you, you passed the well, makeup. They used. <laughs> you, <laughs> passed anyway. the makeup. you passed all the other. Yeah. Passed the makeup. <laughs> stuff. Passed the lovely vanity cases. Yeah. Yeah, the foot spas. Exactly. Yeah, the yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. How much are these, love? For 100. <laughs> yeah. 4 99 it... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Do I get them reduced if I buy in bulk? <laughs> so, how many did you buy? What was it? I don't know, probably about 100. Right, okay. And is she allowed to use those with anyone? <laughs> Did you wrap them? Could she yeah, just grab yeah, another yeah, one? Yeah. Well, you don't need to wrap them. They're already wrapped, aren't they? Oh. And then what did you say? So was she opened them? No, just... Wait, wait. I'll, 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 God, what did you say? Right, play a record and we'll come back to this. Put your words to my father. That's genius. <laughs> oh, just, just take us through the moment where you gave this gift. Firstly, so you, so you, 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 you went into Boots, right? You thought, all right, 100 condoms. Brilliant. Mm. Okay. Did you wrap it up? I don't up? know if it was 100. Probably 80. Right, okay. Yeah. Right. You don't so, want to go mad, do you? <laughs> Wrap them up. I'm just, I, you know, I'm just resting easy knowing that he's not trying to breed. <laughs> right. <laughs> no. Yeah. So, uh, I got her them. I got her, uh, Grease on DVD, because okay. she's always watching that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, so, I just think of, uh, when her mum said, what did Carl get you? Some condoms and Grease. <laughs> I was just so glad he said on DVD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She was surprised anyway, right? Because <laughs> yeah, I bet she was. No, when when she got <laughs> she she was she was thinking like jewellery. No, so right. that that showed her. <laughs> <laughs> that surprised you, wasn't it? <laughs> All right. Oh, <laughs> so hang on, wait a minute. You thought it was a holiday, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, look at your face. You don't know me at all. <laughs> Um, so, hang on, so did you give these on Christmas Day? Right, what <laughs> happened is, she got in from work that Saturday, <coughs> right? And I said, look under the sofa. Knackered, oh, right? at least it's Christmas. <laughs> yeah. At least I'm gonna get a little bit. Uh, yeah, I, said, I said, look, you got some stuff under the tree, right? <laughs> so, uh, she, and that did you give her a sugar right? lamp? Right, she was really chuffed with that. But she <laughs> said, she was a bit, a bit puzzled because I didn't know we had any wrapping paper, right? So I ended up using wallpaper. <laughs> You didn't take it off the wall, though. You had no, some... no, it was some left over, right? So she said, why have you used wallpaper? I said, well, I didn't have any paper, and you were getting in in a bit, and I wanted you to have a surprise. <gasps> so she said, can I have a feel of them? <laughs> I said, <"Yeah."> The presents. <laughs> she thought, right, I've got the right thing. Yeah. Right. And uh, then Christmas Day, um, I said, no, don't get carried away. It's nothing really good. You know, we said we weren't going to buy each other much. Uh, so there you go, open them. Yeah, go on. And, uh, can I just ask, had you received your present from her yet? Yeah. So what had you received? Um, what did he have? Had some shoes. Nice. Right. Um, getaway game for PlayStation. Nice. Just to I'm just tightening up just the value of those. Yeah. Yeah. And so just also think about how much fun and pleasure you get from them. Yeah, yeah, yeah Although, yeah, of course, yeah. condoms, I can see the, well, see you know. the appeal. Well, right. Okay, um, yeah, so yeah. I think But I can... also add to that bit 150 quid for a meal. <laughs> if you're going to start totting up, 150 quid for a meal, <laughs> I bought some shoes 72 quid. <laughs> Yeah, that was after the event, though. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, so you'd received these, dare I say it, thoughtful and nice gifts. You handed over the box of, uh, condoms. They were wrapped up. She well, unwrapped it, them. Uh, yeah. Go on, take us through it. Walk well, us through it. Well, it's not, it's not something you play with on Christmas morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh. But, right. But when she opened them, what did she what say? Did she what did she say? She, well, I wrapped them twice. As well, so she thought it was something really good. Extra like, protection, oh. right? And, uh, so she thought it was something really good, and then and so then... the disappointment would be doubled. <laughs> yeah, go on, yeah. And then she just opened it and went, "Oh yeah, so what's on the telly?" And that cool, was that. ungrateful. That was that. What an ungrateful woman that is. Well, fancy she got not, stuff. Fancy not wanting. I told her a, a told box her. of economy condoms from Boots. I said to her about the thing about you know it's all about the surprise and that, isn't it? Yeah, you explained and, that to her. Yeah. What after she'd unwrapped it? Yeah. Thoughtful. And she was, she was all right about it. Yeah. She understood. Rick, you know I suggested to him that he buy his girlfriend a gift. I'm worried I've done more damage to the relationship <laughs> by suggesting that than if he had just forgotten. Next time you've got to go shopping for yourself, Steve. I think I might do. You've better to go shopping for yourself. It's, <laughs> I'm glad it's all over, though. It's, it's mental. Yeah. I, it annoys me. The whole thing <laughs> annoys me. And she knows that as well. Yeah. <laughs> she should know. What, she, she still insists on having Christmas once a year. Well. Wow. Well, I'm, 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 you know. 
No, but uh, well, anyway, what did you get? I can't think what you what you bring to the relationship, <laughs> Carl. I don't know what it is she's getting from you in this relationship. It's like uh, she's doing I think all we the know. work. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eighty times. <laughs> Oh. oh God, God! I love yeah. it. You're brilliant. I know what she's getting. He's the, he's the, he's the. Uh, what? No, he's not thoughtful. No, he, no, but he's, he's thoughtful. He's the best he can do with the brain he's got. Do you know what I mean? Right. He's doing his best. Mm. He's mm. absolutely doing his best. There's no. <laughs> he's working at the limits of his power. Do you know what I mean? Though he's done as well as he can with what he was given. Sure. Yeah, I mean, and that's that's admirable. Yeah, it's like I think he's done better than you'd, you'd expect. I bet his teachers didn't even think he'd get this far. Do you know what I mean? What find a girl? No, well, yeah, a job, a girl. <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? Clothe himself. He's, do <laughs> he's done really well. What do you think, Carl? You think you've done well? I, I think I've done all right compared to some of my mates. What are they doing now? Probably not that much. Mm. Do you mm. know what I mean? The, the, Mrs. Matthew said I wouldn't be an eye flyer. I think I'm doing all right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I have holiday every year. <laughs> uh, got somewhere to live. And that. Yeah. yeah. Got a new flat, haven't you? Yeah, so... So where are they then, the condoms? Are they... Did she show them to her family and friends? No, Take no, them into work? Look what Carl got I'm surprised she told Ricky, actually. I was a bit disappointed in that. Yeah. Because I didn't go shouting <laughs> around. But she was so I excited, got. Carl, clearly. She <laughs> was just yeah. so pleased and proud. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Play record, we come back to it. I think this is this is an example of you, Carl, is that you give up too easy. Yeah, you, know, you, 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 you gave that up straight away. You think there's no point in anything. I did, I did Crusaders for a... I think I, I lasted that out for about four weeks. What's that? Crusaders? Well, he was my mate, right? He, uh, <laughs> he was, he, he was religious. Uh-huh. And, and I'm not, really. Um, but... No, I mean, you believe in ghosts, though, and shadows pushing people off bikes, but go on. But it's the same time, I think I told you once before that I went to the church with this lad because right. I swore and he said he was going to tell me dad. Yeah. And yeah. I said, <laughs> effing and jeffing. So he said, if you come... <laughs> <laughs> is that how they get people to church nowadays? I, I, I love that what kid. That yeah, he hasn't quite got uh, got the idea of the protection game. <laughs> there was nothing in it for him. Either you turn to religion, or I tell your father. <laughs> right. So uh, so I went to church with him and that. And then the next week, he said, "I know that was rubbish and you didn't enjoy it. It's when I got kicked out for messing with a tennis ball in the pews." Right. I don't think we've heard that, but I don't think we could possibly <laughs> right. go into that now. Summed it up. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> Well, no. No, we, come on. That's we'll it. come back that's, to that. That's, 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 you okay. had a tennis ball once in pubes. No. <laughs> no, in the pubes. pubes. In the pubes, pubes right. Yeah. But anyway, so <laughs> I, I went there and I said, I don't think much of this church thing. Yeah. It's a bit boring. Um, <laughs> Sorry. And so you went to church and you ended up in the Crusades. <laughs> No, the, the it's called, What's it's called the crusade? the Crusaders. What it is, it's meant to be the fun part of religion for kids. Uh -huh. right? right. And my mate said, oh, you want to come along? It's, uh, you know, you go on a Friday night yeah. and uh, do it on a Sunday as well. Right. right. So I went on the Friday night. It was brilliant. They had Sabutio, <laughs> uh, played table tennis in this dead big old house. And what do they do right. at the end? Say, oh, I hope you enjoy yourself. Remember, God <laughs> gave you yeah. all this. Yeah. Well, it's sort of, you know, enjoy the simple things in life. You don't need computer games. You can play uh, table tennis and, uh, mm -hmm. and talk with your friends. Yeah. And blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, that's all right. I think you'd be happy in a Young Offenders Institute. <laughs> 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 you get to clean the toilets there but as well. don't forget, Carl, I think God invented Nintendo too. <laughs> right. Well, anyway, so that was all right. I loved it on the Friday. Yeah. I and mean, my mate said, if you go for four weeks, four, like, weeks in a row without missing a day... Yeah. Uh, you get a free badge, you know, and like, salvation. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't like <laughs> yeah. all this sort of being stuck in stuff. Do you know, right. that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I mean, it's like oh, every day. Yeah. Right. So um, anyway, so so you've got to come again on Sunday. So I thought, well, we'll have another game of table tennis. It'll be all right. Yeah. So anyway, I go on the Sunday. <laughs> who oh. was this? Who was this servant of God? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I go on the Sunday. It's like a totally different club. There's no table tennis. <laughs> that's how they trick you. No sabutio. Yeah. They start handing out Bibles. Oh. And it's I like a timeshare like, thing. Hang on a minute, right? <laughs> they trick you. So, so I didn't go again on Sundays. I used to just go on the Friday. Just go on the Friday. Brilliant. And, Brilliant. Yeah. I'm amazed no one else saw through that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the thing is, there used to be loads there on the Friday, so they, were, they won't even notice if that yeah. I'm not, like, yeah, do you sure. know what I mean? That I'm not showing up on a Sunday. So anyway, uh, carried on. It was just this kid in the vicar. Oh, I love that. You, you got one over on the church. So yeah. I, I was loving it, right? Playing table tennis and that. Yeah, and then no uh, on a Sunday, they found out where I live, and the head fella started coming round, knocking on the door. To God. <laughs> the, the He's everywhere, Rick. <laughs> Why did he knock? The fella... Politeness. <laughs> The fella who, like, ran the club, he started coming around knocking on the door. 
and I saw him coming up the path and I said to my mum, oh, it's a fella from the Crusaders. Yeah. She didn't even know what I was No. In. She, she, she was thought like, you were off you nicking hot cats and stealing cars. She didn't yeah, yeah. have a clue what I was it's talking about. You've been going to church. Yeah. to church, I don't you believe it. little bleeder. That's not how we brought you up. <laughs> so, uh, I said, look, just tell him I'm, I'm not in, tell him I'm not in. And she had to keep doing this and they were coming round every Sunday to try and make me, like, Go, yeah. go on a Sunday, it was yeah. really important that I went and that yeah. I was abusing the system and all this. Anyway, I didn't go, um, and then- Why when, didn't they just tell you on next time we turned up on a Friday? <laughs> yeah. No, well, I, I, because there was so many people there on a Friday, you just get mixed in in the crowd. Right. Yeah. It was jammed, it was well popular on a Friday. Yeah. yeah. Right? But anyway, on one of the Sundays, um, it was, it was quiet for a bit, and, um, they stopped coming round. So I thought, right, I can go out again, right, on a Sunday, because I used to avoid hanging around the house. In what case to, sort yeah. of reign of terror? <laughs> is, this this is, is incredible. This. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, so I thought, right. It's like the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, great, they forgot about me. Yeah. Uh, everything, I can carry on in sort of normal life now. Yeah. And I was playing out in the avenue. Fella comes round. Oh. And he goes, there you are. You, oh, you, you know, you're always busy on a Sunday. Uh, you enjoy Fridays and that, don't you? I was like, yeah, yeah. He goes, well, come on, you've got to come with me. And I couldn't get out of it. No. So, I mean, uh, it's like, what could I say? Charlie says. Right? Yeah. So, um, anyway, he nearly killed me in a car crash. <laughs> so that was the excuse I used next time. He had a Mini, right? And right. he was driving us there, and he hit the curb, nearly sort of turned over the Mini. Oh. Right? It was like three of us in the back. So I said... Is that a record? So... Next time, was it came, a joke? next time he came round to pick us up, I said, look, really enjoyed it and that. I said, but ever since that journey, I really, you know, I don't, I don't want to get in the car with you again because you scared me a bit. And right. I said, all right then, I didn't have to go again. That's all right, isn't it? That's extraordinary. Yeah. He almost killed you in a car crash. That's right? a parable. Thank, thank God no one was hurt. Mm. Yeah. I remember that. that Your that, life moves in incredible ways. Yeah. Rather like God. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh. So they're, pro go. they're probably round there now, aren't they? Going, is he coming tomorrow? Is <laughs> Carl, it's Thanksgiving. I don't know what that means. I don't know why we're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm slightly in agreement with you, actually. I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Well, no, but it was, uh, you know, the arbitrary dates are easy to remember for some people. Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Easy to remember. I don't think Thanksgiving is. Well, it is in America, and... Yeah, yeah but I have never... I couldn't tell you... I mean, I've I've been around for thirty odd years. I've never celebrated one of them. I've never done anything about it. No one has. I don't know any relation who has ever said he's popping around for Thanksgiving. No, 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 when is it? I've never done it because it's not celebrated in this so country. So why are we celebrating it? We're not celebrating it. It's an arbitrary date to do a podcast. I just don't know what it's about. I mean, before you celebrate something, you don't celebrate you know. Halloween, do you? But we did that. No, but it annoys me how people don't actually know what the occasion is, but they celebrate it. Kids don't know what Christmas is about these days. It's just like, oh, I'll get some toys. That's yeah, what I mean. So Thanksgiving, it's just another one, isn't it? It's another event. Okay, why do you celebrate Christmas then? Because uh, everyone else does. You can't get Brilliant. away from it. I'd quite happily block it out. If I did a new diary, I'd leave out that date and go, come on, let's let's get on, let's do something good. Well, you, well, you go on holiday every two weeks. What's that to celebrate? No, I'm just but saying. But people need a little break, don't they? You know, it's a great he doesn't. Christmas is a great time. You yeah, but, but, but the problem the is, but... what I don't like about it is everyone's off at the same time. So everything stops. See, what I'd do is, I'd say to people, do you like Christmas? Yeah. Right, when do you want to celebrate this year? And let them do it whenever they want. Well, that's ridiculous. Why? As long as you're remembering baby Jesus, does it matter when you're remembering him? But I, 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 I'm an atheist and I celebrate Christmas because it's a time of year where everyone is off and everyone gets together. Yeah, I know. I don't I, care what they call it. The fact that we're all doing it at the same time is what's nice about no, it. There's a not. sense of community. No. National community. Everyone shuts down by about December 15th or whatever. And then it doesn't get going again till like January the sixth. But what is it you're missing out on during this period? Just it's like two weeks there. That's I mean that bit between Christmas and New Year. You might as well delete that out of the calendar. Yeah, because heaven forbid you can't pop down the library because it's closed. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing. All, all that reading you've got to catch up on. <laughs> I'm just saying that we're wasting time. What, I've what never are you seen, doing that? <laughs> I've never seen anyone on this planet waste as much time as you. If say... you're not on holiday, you're following an insect around the fucking park. So don't give me that shit. I'm just saying that. Uh, I don't like fun. <laughs> <laughs> Never a true well, word. There says. we are. We've got to the nub oh, of it here. You don't like are. fun. This is true. You don't like no, anything. Christ Almighty! You oh. do not like fun. No organized, <laughs> organized fun. I hate that thing. I've said it a bit before about you know it's that date. That's what you've got to do. <laughs> Will there come a time when someone goes, "We've done it. We've done enough of this." Will there come a time and for Thanksgiving? Possibly. Yeah, possibly, yeah. Things things change, don't they? And you'll be happy then, will you? 
uh, in 5,000 years' time when we all worship Glong. Yeah. We uh, just make a change. That's that's all I want. Because, you know, I've been keeping a diary. Yeah. Uh, what did you have in the calf yesterday, for example? We can read about that later. It's just like Ricky said, oh, are you gonna you going to do, you know, another one next year? And I wouldn't because it's, you know, you do the same stuff every year, don't you? It's set up the same way. January, <laughs> February. It's the same thing. It's the same routine. Yeah. And, and if you're writing in Why a are book, they always doing them in the same order, those oh, months? It sickens me, Rick. Oh. That's you. you see, it's just easy to put stuff off whilst we've got this calendar, whereas if you didn't have a date, you'd have to do everything straight away. What? Say if I was in charge. Oh, mm. God, heaven forbid, yeah. And yeah. someone said, that building needs knocking down. Yeah. It's dangerous. If we didn't have a calendar, you go, mm, let's do it now then. Whereas, because we've got a calendar, it's easy to say, next Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> I love him! I love him! His oh. theories are amazing! I mean, I don't know. Maybe he is a real visionary thinker. Maybe he is free... You know what I, what I like about him, though? All his, all his thoughts, they're about... They're about freedom of expression in a strange way. He's not burdened by anything. He just goes, well, why do we think like that? But he who... questions everything. Like a true visionary scientist. But who gets a diary come Christmas time, which I know you hate, you yeah. know, for the next year and thinks, you f wow, what a piece of oh, shit. Now I've got to I'm put something in do ne stuff when I want to do it. I'm going to take out next Wednesday. <laughs> There's no such thing no. as next Wednesday. No, but what I'm saying is, before the year's even started, I know in that new diary I can whiz forward to December 25th, and I go, oh, another Christmas. I don't know what you mean. So everything's set in stone before I've even started the new year. It's like, oh, Pancake Tuesday, that's coming up. <laughs> so someone's already Remember decided. Remember Tuesday. Someone's already <laughs> decided. Someone's already telling me what I'm doing on half of the year. <laughs> but oh, but just all those nice. pages oh, are blank, you know. Carl, for you to fill up with stuff. Oh, guess what? Guess where my birthday is again? 23rd of <laughs> September. I'm just saying, move them about a bit, move the days about a bit, so it doesn't get predictable. But when we when we change Pancake Tuesday to uh, Thursday, Thursday, do we tell anyone else? Um, yeah, they do an advert on the telly, just saying, don't forget to buy your pancake mix. Uh, but so why? Carl, why not just stick with what we've already got? Because if you know Actually, it's fine, everyone I anyway. Like to be, I wouldn't put a date on that pancake day anyway, just have it when you want. <laughs> have it when you want. There's no big deal. You've got to make them yourself. It's not like some place is opening to do it. Have them when you want. I don't know why that's got a special day on it. Sick of it. You don't believe everything you read, do you? Um, a lot of it. A lot of stuff you kind of go, well, that's that's interesting. To... But what we talked about this. What about Noah's Ark? What about it? Well, you know, you said you believed it because it's in book form. But uh, according to that... I didn't he get two of every species on a big boat? But we, but we know that's impossible, don't we? Um, depends where he was. If he was above a zoo, there would have been a lot of different stuff knocking about. That's my only problem a with that. A zoo hasn't got, hasn't got one percent of all animal species. No, but they've got more. What I'm saying is, where was he floating where he could get an elephant, a giraffe, a cat, a dog, a gerbil? Where were all these things floating about? Well, exactly. Right. That's these these Old Testament downfall. zoos, they were quite... Yeah, yeah quite but exactly. Big, really. But, you're, but you're, you're right. You're questioning it. Let, 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 how is it possible? But I've just said. A zoo. But what are you talking about? A zoo? As I said, there's no zoo that has got 1% of all animal species. Well, I don't know where you got them from, then. There's a couple of million species of animal. And how did he round these animals up? Because they were drowning, so they were, they were looking for any boat. <laughs> so they were looking, they were actively seeking out an ark. Well, they, they would have just been looking for anything to get hold of. Yeah, and where did they keep them all? How did they keep them all separate? How did they... At that point... Oh, you... no, the uh, lions at the otter. No, because at that point, it's, it's that thing, in it of how you all pull together in it Don't in a bad situation. talk shit. You all chip in, they're all like, oh, God, you know, let's be nice to our neighbours. Right, so they're spiders talking to flies and... Well, they, they would have just gone elsewhere, wouldn't they? They would have been on another bit of the boat. The spiders don't have to knock about with the lions just because they're all in it together. They get their own little area, don't they? Well, I don't know. How big is this boat? How it's big? big. It's big. It's a big boat. Hey, how long... What was the warning he got from God to make it? I don't know. It was a couple of weeks. He probably had um, the Extreme Makeover Home Edition team. Uh, they, they all chipped in. Probably had Queer Eye for a Straight Guy helping him out with some of the... The, the interior design elements. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two of every species, Carl. How big would this boat have to be? Yeah, it's big. 
You can't just keep saying it's big. Because I know in your mind, you're imagining this ark, there's a boat, with Noah up the front with his wife, two giraffes behind him, they're next there, two elephants, and it just, and, and it's just like, it's just like elephant, giraffe, hippo, dog, cat, weasel, couple of frogs, and a spider talking to a fly going, yeah. let's get on. But when we're off here, you're dead. But what would you have done then? Would you, are you saying that you won't get on there because it's too noisy? It's not a question it's not of what it didn't happen. Done. It didn't happen. To be honest, I'm not bothered. And they got through it, didn't they? <laughs> they got through it. They're here now. We're not short of them. If anything, like I said, he didn't do us a favour because he saved too much. You can't move out there for stuff. <laughs> <laughs> if heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? Is that how it works? Oh. oh no, what do you I'm, mean? What's the question? Well, I don't know. Uh, do you hear so many other things that you have to go through other gates? I can't imagine him being on the door, is what I'm saying. <laughs> if he owns a place, what's he doing there? He could put well, anyone on it. It's St Peter, isn't it, who's normally minding the gates, famously. Right, so it's him asking me. OK, well, let's say it's St no, Peter. No, 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 no. You go through the gate, Peter goes, oh, you expected, um, he's got an appointment, we're going through the guard, go through a few doors, go up top floor, right, past the executive washroom, into his big office, OK, that overlooks the universe. So what, what? So you've gone in to see God, it's an audience with God, you've died, you've gone to heaven, mm. and what would you like God to say to you at that point? Um, probably just, just say, oh, um, you've done well in that in your life. You never did anybody any harm. So, welcome to the, to heaven. Any problems, give us a shout. Um, you know, here's a little layout of, of like a, you know, like a little map. It's kind of like... I love this. This is a great answer. And my favourite one is you never did anyone any harm. That's, that's great. That's a brilliant thing for God to say. Yeah. So, hang on, he's giving you a little map. So, he's giving you a little map of the a area. It's big. And he'll sort of say, this is where you go for this, this is where you go for that. Um, I'd, I'd probably ask him about the ghost situation. I'd say, am I now a ghost then? Or is this just like another pl planet that I've come onto? Right. Uh, I don't know if he'd answer that. I don't know if he'd be sort of a bit... A bit cagey. Yeah. A little bit like, well, I don't want to panic you and stuff. Um, I'd say, right, is it right that I can see past family and that? Because to be honest, I'd probably prefer to stay away. <laughs> No, but oh, the, because the thing is, if you've done all, I've done all that in this life, so it's about moving on to another life and meeting different people, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Otherwise, what's the point? It's just yeah. like the same all over again, but everywhere's white. I, I mean, I don't know if it is like Do this. Do you think God just... would like this podcast? Um, uh, well, I suppose it just kills half an hour, doesn't it? Well, yeah, but time's not a problem for him, is it? Yeah, it is, because he lives for ages, so he needs loads of filler. I bet he's, you know, doing stuff that is just like, I'm not really into this, but it's something to do, isn't it? <laughs> Sudoku and stuff. <laughs> But I think there'll be just as many problems up there as there is here, because at least people are leaving here, whereas up there, that's the thing that I'd be worried about the most, actually, that it's really crowded. Because <laughs> it's years and years of dead people, isn't it? <laughs> London does me head in. Up there, it's going to be well busier than that. <laughs>